Hello, I'm Jury Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for March 26th, 2017. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, Marvin and Copper ended up with a phenomenal 10.05, followed by Squeaky Penguin and Burning Ass Taco at 975, Ash White at 965, Grail 17 at 955, Dano 416, Mac at 935, myself at 835, and Xgrin 602 at 820. Total of 22 players yesterday, which is, again, lower than usual. Well, not again lower than usual, but it's lower than usual. Let's see what we have today. Also, I'm playing extremely lit, and I did not do an audio test because I've been playing Mass Effect, and I'm hoping that's working correctly. Today we have Stealth, which is my favorite upgrade. One Infestation type. And the entire ship powered by one plug. Oh, I thought there was one around the edge there. I don't like this, just for the record. I like this much more. Take it or leave it. So, the gods of gaming, take pity on me tonight, having played a lot of Mass Effect Andromeda. The game has problems, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying it. Thanks from R4, and unfortunately there is nothing, with the teleport, there is nothing I can do about those two sentries. Nothing at all. You know, actually, it would be interesting. There is something I can do about the two sentries. There's not something I can do about the two sentries. Hmm. I could irradiate them. And I could even do it pretty well. The problem is getting them afterward. That would take damage. But I think I can do this. What I need to do Thank you. 
No, 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 no. That would have been bad. I need to get them both into R8. to bet it is an R10, which is exactly where I want it to be. Excellent. This is going to be trickier. Here's what I'm going to do. Not the best option. this until it hits radiation. Because <sighs> I know the radiation will kill them. Now I know if I do ship scan again, it won't detect it again. I think. Let's give it another shot. Find out. Aha! <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I don't have any way to avoid radiation damage. So this is going to hurt, but a few seconds in R10 gets me three scrap. I'll take it. Now my next concern is getting that drone into R10 from R8. Let it 
it lose interest? Because there's two ways I can do this. I can push into R8 and do it, but if I can get everything into R10, that will be best. And because of these small rooms, I wasn't sure I could get everything into the same room. Damn. Okay, good. I didn't take radiation damage yet, and it is in R10. So I was thinking of the probe. The probe doesn't detect anything new in a room. There we go. Five scrap. Five scrap. Maybe six. It looks like it's only five, but maybe it's six. Off of that with no weapons. I'm going to take damage. But, considering my many failures as of late. If this works, and there's no reason it shouldn't. I'm going to feel extremely satisfied with the top position I'm also well over speaking myself, so there is that. Nine, nine points for five scrap is a deal I will make. Don't degalls very often. Let's get out of here. I am extremely satisfied with that. That is... Whew, far better than I expected things to go. Now, I know I got at least two scrap. I didn't look and see what scrap was in R4. I know there was some. But I know I got two scrap in R2. Uh, so that might be the difference with ship scan, ship scan today. It also extremely helped out with R10. Uh, being able to identify that the scrap was where I needed it to be was fantastic. Total score, 821. Top score could have been 850. I took 9 damage and I only got 5 scrap from the two, uh, two sentries. This also does answer the question of whether or not you can get all the scrap if you irradiate them. You don't you have the standard chances of whatever scrap you can get. 13 scrap total possible of 14, no fuel. Starting score of 510, picked up a drone with one upgrade, which was transport. If something had gotten, if one of them had gotten stuck in R8, I would have used the transport to drive in, get, drive in, gather, and then transport into R2. Um, that would have taken considerably more time, it would have dealt with more damage, but would have been the best way to do it. And again, 9 damage or even 20 damage for 5 scrap would have been more than worth it, just for the score at least. And to the same token, it takes 1 scrap to repair 10 damage, so 9 damage for 5 scrap is a good deal in the campaign as well. Usually that's not where you're going to want to do, and usually you're going to be better equipped than the daily challenge, so there is that. Current top score is 821. I do not know for absolute certain how much scrap I got. Actually, I know. I know exactly what the difference is, because 730 is how much scrap I would have had if I didn't pick up those five. Oh, uh, I feel vindicated right now. It also looks like those two scrap from ship scan were the difference because after 730 the score is 690. 
So, most likely, uh, Burning Ass Taco Grail and Dano did not get a ship scan and were not able to try or did not try my strategy. I think overall, considering how I did it, my strategy would have worked. Uh, for Even if you didn't have the ship scan, it just would not have been as definite. I would have gone in with the transport and been ready to transport into R2, just or T E L E R two uh, should have done the job, and that would have been it. Um, I probably would have gone in from R nine as well, and maybe if I just wanted to do like a quick uh, a macro, uh, I do believe I have a QQ macro which teleports drone one to R one, and that would have been very effective. So, look, I'm going to be honest. I am, I'm, I'm a little bit prideful right now because I have had a bad, not a bad week, but as far as Duskers is concerned, Duskers has handed me my ass several times this week. And this feels like a vindication. It really does. So... If you haven't done your own run yet, good luck with my trick, I guess, is all I can say. If you have done your run, leave a comment with your own experiences. It's a very simple ship, just a, a handful of rooms, or two handfuls of rooms, I guess, with about nine, ten rooms. And sentries is the only infestation, so easy enemies. Small ship. Smallish ship. Excuse me. But there's still different ways to go about it, and uh, I'd love to hear if you had the same idea and whether or not it did work out for you, uh, because there are some things that could have gone wrong on my attempt as well. If you enjoyed the video, despite my patting myself on the back quite a bit, and I apologize for that to the extent I can, though... I'm not going to apologize for it completely because that that is kind of who I am and I don't regret that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video regardless, do please like and have a good day.